What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mad About Toys. Uh, this week, I walked into my Toys R Us, and bam! The new Wolverine figure from the X-Men Bonebreaker Wave. Wow, was I excited. Only problem, $42.99. Holy cow. They've jacked up the prices on just regular figures. Incredible. Um, this figure is completely reused. Uh, maybe the belt is the only thing that's new. Everything else is 100% reuse. The foot has a stamp of 2016. So, and only, and it comes with no accessories. This comes with one extra head. So why did they jack this price up? This should not be $42.99. I grabbed it because I wanted to review it. But it's, I have Wolverine figures. They've made over 40 wolverine figures in the marvel Le uh, legends wave incredible it's time for a new buck on wolverine this one here no pinless joints all reuse and the last wolverine i'll be buying until they come out with a new one get the fuck out of here it's great for new collectors i understand why they do it a hundred percent but come on you make a ton of these figures, a ton of Wolverines. I don't know how many have been released even in the last couple of years. So come on, Hasbro. Make a new one like you did for Spider-Man. Let's get Wolverine uh, a new figure and the respect that he deserves. He's such a huge character. Um, so come on, Hasbro. Let's make a new one. But let's check this figure out. I'm not going to do any articulations. It's so such an old buck. I'm sure you guys have all seen this plenty of times, but let's get up and close and check this figure out. It does look cool. I really wish it came with a screaming uh, mask uh, head sculpt on it, um, like the one from the three-pack. I uh, would have loved that head sculpt. I didn't get that three-pack, so to include that one in this one, I would have been blown away. I would have been like, yep, worth $40 all day long. Canadian, obviously. I know you guys in the States would be like, no way, not paying 40 bucks. Get the fuck out of here! But we've been paying $30 for at least 10 years now for six inch action figures in the uh, DC and, and Marvel line. So without further ado, let's do it. Let's check out Wolverine from the X Men Bone Breaker Wave. I do have the rest of these figures on pre order at GameStop. For $10 cheaper than this figure. Incredible. Can't wait to get that build a figure. I'm not excited for most of this whole wave, but I'm excited for that build build a figure. That bone breaker. Can't wait to get that into my collection. So again, without further ado, the reason you're here, let's check out Wolverine. Alright, let's take Wolverine for a spin here. And the figure looks alright in terms of uh repaint. But it is totally reuse. And like I said, $42.99. Absolutely insane price for this figure, in my opinion, uh, at Toys R Us. What are they doing? But schmucks like me, I bought it. And I bought it so I could review it uh, in a reasonable time frame comparative to others in the U.S. Uh, normally it takes a month or two to get these figures. But uh, for whatever reason, it was a few weeks, so I jumped on it, um, paid the price. But the crazy thing is that the whole wave was gone. This was the only figure remaining, so somebody else bought every one of these figures for $42.99. Obviously, to get that Build-A-Figure, it is an awesome Build-A-Figure, but... In a month or two, you're going to be able to get it from GameStop for $32.99, if you remember, to $35.99 at GameStop or $35.99 on Amazon. So just a little bit of patience would save a ton of money. I'm definitely not going to get the whole wave for $42.99 if I see it at Toys R Us first, but I thought I'd grab this guy just to check it out. The paint job on these heat claws do look great. I got to give them that. And they used a very nice claws. The skinnier ones, they bend and warp and look terrible. These ones uh, from a figure I have from the X-Force Wolverine, those claws have stayed intact uh, over quite a long number of years. 
No pinless joints here, and definitely time for a new buck for a Wolverine. They make him enough that he deserves a new buck. Butterfly joints on this figure were great compared to some of my other Wolverines. Wolverine was created in 1974 and made his first appearance in The Incredible Hulk, co-created by Roy Thomas, Len Wayne, and John Romita Sr., Canadian superhero, which makes him one of my favorite by default, as there's not a lot of Canadian superheroes, especially that are as popular as Wolverine, coming out of Alberta, Canada. Here I got him lined up with two of my other Wolverines with the same buck, the 80 Years Wolverine and the X-Force Wolverine, which was the first Wolverine Marvel Legends figure I ever bought, and still probably my favorite out of these three, actually. Here we got him lined up with the Cowboy Wolverine, the 80 Years Wolverine, the X-Force Wolverine, Old Man Wolverine, two-pack with Hawkeye, and the Logan Wolverine, Hugh Jackman figure. All awesome figures. Like I said, this one will be the last Wolverine I buy, unless it's a different design or they come up with a new buck for him, uh, because it's completely reused. Get the fuck out of here! And here I have them lined up with uh, four different lines. We have the DC Multiverse Batman by McFarlane Toys, NECA Ghostface, a NECA Leonardo from the arcade line, and a Mattel wrestling goon figure with the Valiverse Tim Kennedy head on it. With my most recent reviews, we have Star Lord and Thor from the Thor Love and Thunder Wave. Check them out if you miss them. With the comic Punisher, looks great scale wise. Uh, they should be good scale. They've been doing this figure for. 20 years with the second most popular canadian superhero of all time deadpool come on we need these two guys in a film together stop fucking around marvel and let's do it so my verdict for this figure is a pass unless you're new to collecting then pick it up but you could probably get another figure that's better you know what go for that three pack if you can afford it absolutely do that that i think is the best wolverine figure that i can see i don't have it in my collection so i can't say a hundred percent that'll do it everybody for my look at wolverine from the bone breaker wave if you could hit that subscribe like comment share and notification bell i would greatly appreciate it Thank you for watching again, and have yourselves a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. All done the video.